Hi, in this session, I'm going to show you how to create a watermark in Excel. Now, Excel doesn't have a native capability to create a watermark, unlike uh, the other Microsoft products like uh, Microsoft Word. However, there is a workaround, and I'm going to show you two ways to do it, and I'll show you three examples, actually. So the first example is this one. This is basically creating a watermark using the word art. So if I go into page layout view, you'll see that there is a watermark here but there's none here. So that's one of the uh, disadvantages of doing it this way. The second example I'll show you is creating a watermark using the header. So if I go into page layout view, you'll see that I have a watermark here of an image and it is on both pages because that's the way that a header works. So if you don't want to put an image, you can actually just put a, let me go into the example here, you can actually put a image of text and in this example, I'll show you how to create that. You're going to have to create this outside of Excel. Uh, maybe you can use Word or you can use PowerPoint. And I'll show you how to do that in PowerPoint. And that will be closer to the end of the video. Let's go ahead and show you how to do the first example. So I have Sheet 4 here. And the first example, I'm going to go, I'm in a, a page layout view. And I'm just going to go ahead and add the word art. So we can just go into the insert ribbon here and go into word art and just click that and add a word art something that is not too heavy on the color maybe something that's grayish I, ch I usually use this one or I can use this one so I'm going to go ahead and just use this one uh, fill blue text one inner shadow click that and I can just type in maybe I just type in draft and that looks pretty well um, however you can see that it kind of obscures the lettering so what I need to do is adjust the transparency so to format the word art here, I'm going to right click the word art, I click it and right click and, oops, let me go ahead and click it again. So it needs to be dotted lines. I'm going to click, let me click in there. Yeah, then now see it's dotted lines, I can go ahead and right click and go into format text effects. Now under the text effects, I'm going to go into te text fill and under, it's already a solid fill. I'm going to change the transparency and make it a little bit higher. So once I move that up to maybe about uh, maybe 80, about 80, you can see that it's changed a little bit. Now I can the text or the numbers uh, you can see. I'm going to go ahead and close that. Maybe I'll make this a little bit bigger. Double click that, right click, and set this size a little bit bigger. And then usually we can rotate it. And I'm going to go ahead and rotate this. Select on that green circle and just rotate it. And you see now I have this draft. Let me go and click outside of that. I have this draft and the numbers show through, but one of the disadvantages of doing it this way is if there's multiple sheets, it doesn't show. So if you have one sheet, that's a quick and easy way to do it. Now the other way to do it, let me go ahead and delete this. Let me go ahead and delete this, select that and press delete. The other way to do it is when you're in page layout view, you would adjust the header. So in the header, let's say that I have an image I wanted to add on there. I would click on the header and you can see now the header and footer tools contextual menu comes up click on design and we're what we're going to do is insert a picture so I've already got a picture and I'm just going to add that face picture that I had earlier I'm going to insert that and you're not going to see the picture there but you're going to see some text that references that picture now the picture is going to show up if I click outside of that you can see the picture shows up here at the top so what I want to do is I'm going to click on the header again and I'm going to adjust it add some carriage returns press enter a couple times and you'll see that the picture kind of moves itself down to the middle so one advantage of this is you have a picture that occurs on multiple pages depending on how many pages your spreadsheet takes. Now if we didn't want a picture and we wanted lettering, like for example I want to say confidential, we would have to create that image or picture in another program. So if you had Microsoft PowerPoint, you can actually go into PowerPoint and create the lettered image. So what I need to do is open up a blank presentation in PowerPoint, make sure in layout you're in blank and go ahead and add text. So I'm going to click the text box. If you don't have this text box here, you can go to insert and go insert text box here. But usually I think you would probably have this here. So I'm going to insert a text box and just kind of draw it out. And maybe I'll just draw out the word uh, uh, draft again. And here I'm going to increase the size. Go ahead and make it really, really big. Uh, let's see, it probably be, have to be quite large. Oh, not that large. Maybe that is enough. Center it and make this a gray. Don't make it too dark. So I'm going to make this a gray and I'm going to adjust it now. Make it a little bit uh, diagonal there. Now what you can do now is select on this particular text 
and make sure it's dotted line. Right click and save. Oh, actually, it doesn't have to be dotted line, huh? So what I need to do now is select this text. Make sure that the lines are not dotted. They're single. They're uh, solid lines. Right click and click save as picture. So it's going to ask you where you want to save it. I already have a sample here. I'm going to call this one just draft, draft image, I guess draft. I'll just call it draft and click save. So what it does it save this text box as an image now. So I go back into Excel and let me go ahead and just delete this, remove this header, click up here and delete that. Let me go ahead and just delete or just uh, go down here and click here. Now it's gone. So cl click back into the header and go in into design and click picture. And now I want my draft picture that I just saved. So I click that, double click that. You see the picture text is still there. And so if I get out of there, click somewhere here, you'll see now it shows up and it shows up multiple times. So that is the other way to create a watermark, uh, basically in a way using two Microsoft programs, using PowerPoint to create that text box and saving it as an image and inserting it into the header. So there's two ways to do it. And you can choose the one you like best. But I hope that helps. Thanks for watching.